In this quick start tutorial, I'll show you how easy it is to view, organise, enhance and share your photo collection, all the way from start to finish. When you open Photostat for the first time, you'll be greeted with the Learning Assistant. From here you can view the latest learning resources and video tutorials, and keep up to date with breaking serif news. To exit the Learning Assistant, click the Escape key on your keyboard. You can access the Assistant at any time by selecting Learning Assistant from the Help menu. OK, let's get started. First we'll need to add some photos. Click Import above the default library view to open the dialog. I'm going to add some photos from my digital camera. In the From drop-down list, click on the name of your device. If it doesn't appear, it might be worth double-checking that the device is connected to your computer. The Photos window will be filled with your photos. By default, all photos will be imported. To exclude photos, uncheck the box on the photo thumbnail. Now we need to set the transfer options, where photos are moved from device to computer. I'd like to create a subfolder for my photos to go into. You can either choose a folder from the drop down list or click Custom and create your own. You can add tags to all your photos at once when importing them. To do this, type a tag into the box and click Add. When you're happy with the import settings, click OK. An alternative method of adding your photos to Photostack is by including a folder. Click Include Folder on the Organize tab and then choose a folder from the list. I'll navigate to that folder in Windows Explorer and paste some photos that I copied earlier. Back in Photostack, you can see that those photos have automatically appeared in the library. Feel free to add more photos to your collection whenever you like. In the library, you'll find a range of tools which will help you manage your photo collection more effectively. A great place to start is by creating digital photo albums, but first we need to choose some photos. Click and drag to create your selection, or hold the control key and click on individual photos if you prefer. In the album section of the Organize tab, click Create Album, Give your album a name, and then click Populate Album using Selection, then click OK. Our new album has appeared in the album section. Just click on it to view the photos inside. At the moment, it's only the file name that is displayed alongside the photo thumbnail. To show more details, open the View menu and select Photo Details, All. Now you can see the date taken, time taken and star ratings are also displayed. The stars are blank because we haven't added any ratings yet, but we'll look at this later. You can customise the details that are displayed by selecting or deselecting them in the same list. A great way of keeping track of your photos is by tagging them. When I imported my photos, I added the skiing tag, which you can see in the descriptive tag section here. In the library, you can add tags to individual or multiple photos in just a few clicks. First, click Create Tag and then type the name of the tag you want to add. Your tag will be added to the list of descriptive tags. If you click it, you'll see that it hasn't yet been assigned to any photos. Let's do this now. Select the photos you want to tag and then drag them onto the tag in the Organize tab. Release the mouse button when you see a blue outline appear around the tag. This icon shows a photo has had a tag assigned to it. You can also drag the tag onto a photo if you prefer. I'd like to add a few more tags to my photos now. In Photostack, you can create stacks of photos that share the same subject matter. Right click on the photo you want to be at the front of the stack and click Stack, Create Stack. Then drag the photos that you want to add onto the stack. 
stacks in your photo collection will be indicated like this. You can expand and collapse the stack using these buttons to see all the photos inside. It's really easy to assign star ratings to your photos. First, expand the Ratings category and then choose a rating. Drag it onto the photo in the library and then release the mouse button. You'll see the number of stars appear on the photo thumbnail. Alternatively, select multiple photos and drag them onto the rating. Instead of manually adding photos to photo albums, you can create smart albums. Smart albums dynamically grow as you import photos that match the same criteria that has been set. First click Create Smart Album on the Organize tab and give your album a name. Now we can set the search conditions. From the first drop down list, choose Descriptive Tag and then select a tag from the second list. When you're happy, click Add and then click OK. You can see all the photos with the skiing tag assigned have appeared in the Smart Album. Any photos subsequently allocated with that tag, either on import or manually, will automatically be added to the album. In Photostat, you can identify the location where a photo has been taken by marking it on a map. This is great for holiday snacks and means you can quickly recall where photos were taken. To begin, click Map on the toolbar above your workspace. Use a zoom slider to zoom in and then pan to your photo location. Select your photo from the lower pane and then drag it onto the map. When you release the mouse button, you'll see a red pin appear which provides an indication of where the photo was taken. Multiple photos which share a similar location will show as a group of pins. In your collection, there are likely to be some photos which would benefit from some sort of correction. To begin, click Develop. Any changes applied in Develop View are non-destructive and will not affect your original photo. First, we'll look at cropping a photo to a specific print size. On the Presets tab on the right, select the Crop and Straighten tool. A rule of thirds grid will appear on your photo. On the Adjustments tab, Choose an aspect ratio from the drop down list. I'll choose 7 by 5. Drag your photo beneath the grid to position it correctly. When you're happy, click Apply on the Adjustments tab. When you select a different photo or navigate away from Develop View, PhotoStack will prompt you to save your work. If you click Yes, the changes will be saved and the photo thumbnail in the library will update accordingly. On the Presets tab, you'll find a range of preset filters which can be applied to your photo with a single click. Simply choose your photo, then click a filter. The preview will update and show what the photo will look like. More advanced adjustments are available on the Adjustments tab. Let's look at changing the lighting on this photo by performing an exposure adjustment. Find the Lighting option on the Adjustments tab and then drag the slider left or right to make the photo darker or lighter. You could also try adjusting the brightness and contrast using the sliders underneath to complement the exposure of your photo. If you change your mind about a particular adjustment, you can revert it by clicking its reset button. Once you've successfully organised and edited your photos, you'll be able to view them quickly and easily whenever you want to. Try typing a tag, folder name or file name into the search box on the top right of the workspace. In this example, you can see both the Holidays folder and the Holidays tag have appeared. The number next to each search indicates the number of photos that match. Double click a result to view the photos that belong to that criteria. You can use categories such as Album, Date, Rating and Tag on the Organize tab to filter your photos. First, I'll select a descriptive tag. You can see that all of the photos with that tag have appeared. To narrow your search down even further, you can use a combination of properties. I'll hold down the control key and choose the 5 star rating. 
Now you can see all photos with both the holidays tag and a 5 star rating assigned to them. OK, now you've finished organising and editing your photos, you'll probably want to share them. In Photostack, there are a number of sharing options to choose from, which will allow you to distribute photos to family and friends directly from the programme. First, select the photos you want to share and then click Share at the top of the workspace. This is the Share dialog. The options available include Export Images, where you can save your photo to a different quality, size or graphics format. Print, where you can choose to print to a variety of print sizes and layouts. Email, where you can attach photos to emails in just a few clicks. And Upload, where you can upload your photos to Flickr, Dropbox or Facebook. Well that's it for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed exploring the basics of Photostack. To find out more, see the Learning Assistant. Thanks for watching.